This is Coogan Cassis for IFL TV, proudly sponsored by Everlast. We're at Noonan's gym here in Essex. I'm joined by one and O professional, Joe Giles. All right, mate? How you doing? Good? I'm all good. I'm all good. Now, we've had a little situation with Nina about moving. Oh, if you move, they're not going to see you. So, um, yeah, up and running now. So, pro debut uh, done and dusted out the yeah. way um, a little while ago. So, yeah, how was that, first of all? Uh, it was amazing. Uh, the, the crowd that I brought with me, I was buzzing all night. I, I was a lot of float. I didn't fight till the end. They waited. I didn't end up boxing till about half 11. I told them to get there for five o'clock. I thought I was going to be first, but yeah, it was amazing. The walkout, like, I, I did box well. There's, obviously, I think I can improve like, a lot more, but um, yeah, up and running. Hang on a minute. You thought you was fighting at half five, so yeah. you told your people to come at half five and yeah. you fought at half, half 11. Half 11. Yeah, yeah. There was Were they in the bar by any chance? Yeah, I was that? in the bar singing all night long. There was 300 of them waiting for me. So, um, yeah, hopefully we can bring the same crowd next time. But I'm not boxing at 11.30 this time. <laughs> You're super middleweight. Super middle, middleweight, yeah. Yeah, I mean, you, you're like built in the mould of like a Callum Smith. <laughs> yeah, I know, yeah. Loads of people say that, Callum Smith. But, yeah, um, I think I'll start at super middleweight. I'll eventually move up when I fill out a bit more. But comfortable at the minute. Made the weight easy, so, yeah. I still find it difficult. Obviously, people look at guys like you, and they've obviously Cameron Smith's been. He's only moved up to light heavyweight recently, but has spent and obviously won world titles at that weight. But when you look at someone and you think, how comfortable do you make that weight? Because, but then guys like Callum have always made it, yeah. and you're the same. It's just you're just a big yeah. frame super middleweight. Yeah, yeah. Well, I've always been this sort of weight, and in between fights, even in the amateurs, I've never blown up a lot. I put on a couple of kilos, but. I'm always close to my weight, so it's not too hard for me to lose it. You see some fighters, they put on like 10 kilos. I, I, can't, I can't see myself ever doing that, really. So I suppose as you're starting off, that will be a weight, but then as your career goes on, if there's, especially if there's opportunities yeah. at like, like heavy or whatever, then I suppose you assess that when the time's right. Yeah, yeah, definitely. And I just think when, when I mature a bit more, because I'm only 23, a few years, I'll definitely be able to move up. Because you want to be at the top of the weight class, don't you? So there wouldn't be a point in me moving up yet. Super middleweight division is obviously one of the uh, the best and toughest ones. Obviously, we saw what Canelo did in the space of a year, uh, which is uh, incredible. Like I said, picked off all the belts within uh, 11 month period to become undisputed. But um, yeah, I'm assuming you watched the fight with Plant, and yeah, yeah. yeah it was um, he's a special fight. Yeah, yeah, Canelo's Canelo's the man of like. Just you can't put it into words what he's done for boxing. Like going up and down all them weight classes, just unreal. It's just he's not human. <laughs> and then he has Jake Paul calling him out. Yeah, I know it's crazy to even think about him fighting uh, Canelo. It's just I don't know. Is it crazy? But is it impossible, Joe? It's not impossible. It's not impossible. You see what's happening in the sport at the minute, but I don't mind all that. Like it gets people talking about boxing. Right, it's the best sport in the world. Why wouldn't you want them talking about boxing, people? It is, though. The, the thought of kind of the pound for pound, in a lot of people's yeah. opinion, number one in Canelo, yeah. against someone who's had four fights and hasn't fought a boxer yet. And that's yeah. no discredit to Jake Paul because he's doing his thing, etc. But I think he knows what he's doing. Yeah. He, I, I believe he means what he's yeah. doing, but he might be saying it for effect. But I just don't see it as an impossible situation. Yeah. Well, he's, he must be doing something, right? He's a clever man. He's, I don't know, early 20s, isn't he? And like, he's a multi-millionaire. He's one of the richest sportsmen in the world right now. And like, he's not even really a sportsman, is he? <laughs> crazy, crazy. It's not his first kind of source of income. So yeah, yeah, in that way, I suppose he's made his money from kind of social media and all yeah. the other things he's done. But we're talking about him now. I mean, he's doing something right. Yeah, I know. That's it. Gets people talking about it and talking about the sport, sport boxing, which I don't mind. Absolutely right. Well, you're out next, obviously, Feb 11th, uh, out of your call on the next MTK show, which will be uh, streamed live on IFL. Have you got anything else you'd like to add before we finish, Joe? Uh, just thanks to all my sponsors for supporting me. Thanks to everyone else and uh, message me for the tickets. It's not going uh, to be a night not to be missed. No problem. Joe Giles, thank you very much. We'll catch up with you again soon. Thanks.